Welcome back, Sethling here. On Thursday, Mojang released the 12839A snapshot, and on Friday, the 12839B snapshot. And there was a feature in there that no one really seemed to pick up on, and that is custom potions. Now, you have to edit the world file data. It's, it's not the easiest thing to do. You can't do it from in the game, but using my MC edit filters, you can. So, for instance, here's a strength 4 potion that lasts like 1.6 million minutes. Splash myself with that, and we've got this. Wow, <laughs> it can't even render the time right. Oh man, but that's going to last basically forever. I mean, it's going to last a really long time. So I have the strength four effect. Of course, strength four is also an effect that you can't get normally. But there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this that uh, that you, we just couldn't do before. So, in, for instance, here's these uh, splash potion of leaping with jump boost potency 9. This is actually level 10. But if I splash myself with this and start jumping around, I'm actually probably going to take a lot of fall damage with myself in creative mode. But yeah, I can, I'll can. i just be able to jump around and <laughs> it's kind of insane. Uh, this has a, this alone has a lot of potential, but there's a lot more you can do with these potions. Let me put them back. You'll notice this one is actually, this is uh, the color of a poison potion and then this one's the color of a regen potion. Same for all of these. That's because they still retain their original uh, color if you edit them, but but it'll overwrite the tooltip and all the effects and everything. So, um, yeah, let's move on down the line. Let's see what we got next. Haste. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go into survival mode for this. All right, so here's here's what it looks like when I try and mine out sandstone normally. Okay, okay. Uh, let me drink this potion. Sorry, it's a potion of haste. It's level 100. I'm gonna drink it. Oh yeah, it's like I it's like I have a tool that is, uh, you know, uh, like a, an efficiency tool that's <laughs> level a billion. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, that's that's also really useful. It's like instant spleef basically. Okay, so let me put that one back. All right, what's next? We have this splash potion of swiftness. This is level 100 also. Uh, <laughs> I think you can more or less guess what'll happen here. Let's try it out. All right. Whoa there. All right. Actually, if you use lower levels like um, like level five or so, level five or ten, it'll it'll have your uh, your field of view will increase and it'll be actually hard to see. But with with this level, it actually wasn't so bad. So actually, that might have been a change uh, in the 12 week 39 B. I'm not really sure, but. That's pretty cool, because <laughs> uh, I, I did see my my field of view change. But that's swiftness, and yeah, you can do even higher levels. You can go up to level 127. Uh, next is water breathing. I'm not actually going to drink this, but uh, this is an effect you couldn't get on a potion before, I believe. Uh, okay, mining fatigue. <laughs> All right, so splash this on myself. Try and mine. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that! Look at that slow pickaxe animation. That is awesome. And I'm not making any progress here. It only lasts 20 seconds, so it'll go away soon. But it's just very silly. So if you wanna, if you wanna make it so that players can't mine, if you're in adventure mode, you're you're, you're stable, still able to mine blocks if you have like a pickaxe. But this potion will make it so that you can't mine anything anymore. You know, because it'll just take <laughs> take forever. It's a really funny animation, though. Anyway, look at that pick animation go. Oh man, that's my punch. All right, <laughs> uh, where were we? Okay, that was yeah, that was mining fatigue. Okay, this one is resistance. Uh, f well, it's level five. It says potency four. Uh, if I splash myself with this, I will actually be invincible. I can just sit in this lava all day while well, the potion only lasts twenty seconds. So, actually, I'll probably take some fire damage. But this makes you invincible, and you can have these potions, of course, last you know forever. So, this is kind of a cool cool thing you can do to just make your players invincible if, if you want them to for a custom map. All right, nausea. Now we're going to get start to get to some of the negative effects that you can give players. This is nausea potency 4, so it's level 5. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Splash myself again. Just make sure, yeah, because it lasts like 15 seconds. Oh my god. Yeah, look away if, you <laughs> if you're prone to getting headaches from watching crazy Minecraft stuff. Um, this is... Yeah, <laughs> kind of obnoxious. All right, so that's over. Thank God. That was mining fatigue resistance. Okay, nausea. All right, moving on. 
Blindness. Okay, splash myself with this, and I can see like three blocks away from me. This could actually be really cool for a, you know, a themed map where you 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 you're trying to fight other people in an arena, but you can't really see them until you get close. Uh, that could be kind of neat, and so that that'll end up. Uh, hunger. So I'm in. This is hunger two. This is actually the uh, the uh, zombie hunger effect. So you do that. Uh, if I gave myself a potion of hunger. I could also drink it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure why you'd want to drink it, but uh, it, you could, uh, you know, in a, in a custom map, you could see people uh, see splash potions being used to to give you hunger. And if you, this does scale with level, by the way, if you have a l hunger level 100, it'll just drop your hunger to zero very very fast. So this is a weakness level 99. Uh, There's actually no use in showing it because I don't have anything to hit. Well, I guess I could make. All right, let me game mode one. I'm going to give myself a sword, and a, I'm going to spawn the, a squid. Squid. Hey, buddy. You're not going anywhere, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so go back to survival mode. Here's the splash potion. Oh, a weakness. It, it didn't actually do anything. That's interesting. It was level 99. Maybe, I, maybe it's only when you... Uh, let me try it again. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played around with all all of these a ton, but oops. Uh, huh. Okay. Wow, it actually seemed to do more damage. I hit him in. T I killed him in two hits. Oh, it's because I have that strength four effect. That's interesting. The strength four must can more than cancel out the. Okay, well, let me try this again. Yeah. Yeah, the strength four effect was canceling out the uh, the potency, or the uh, weakness, I guess. So that's interesting. Uh, and then I have these invisibility potions here that last basically forever. And the idea here is, um, wow, it only lasts 27 minutes. Huh. That's interesting. There might, might be some sort of cap for invisibility, but there isn't one for strength. I don't know. But that's that's a lot. Of, that's a long time still. And uh, so basically, the idea here is if you have a spectator in a map, and they're you know they're flying around, you can clear their inventory and splash them with one of these potions and that will make it so that they aren't visible by the players playing the map so that's good for spectators or you know some sort of crazy game mode like the hidden or something like that anyway there's a lot you can do with these potions uh, I, I mean I, I showed a lot of the potions that you know you can't access normally like this jump boost effect which is just crazy let me put myself in yeah <laughs> oh, whoops that that's really cool I, the jump boost is probably my favorite, but I'm really excited to have all these in the game. I think there's a lot that custom map makers can do with these. So it's pretty cool to finally have these accessible. And again, if you want to make a map using these, just download the filter from the video description, load it up in MC Edit, and it'll work on either dispensers or chests. And basically, it'll just turn all the potions that you do into, you're able to specify the type of effect, like strength or invisibility or whatever, the level, and then the duration in seconds. So, very easy to use and super useful. I'm really looking forward to seeing what people can do with these, and I know I have some plans for this. I, I want to, in the Team Fortress map, for instance, I want to have the spies come with a, ten, a, a couple 10 seconds invi invisibility potions that they can drink. I think that would be a pretty cool tactical effect. So, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.